Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Bull Boy Kennels. Have another tutorial here for you. This is um actually one that was requested on how to transfer files via terminal from different machines like from your Mac to your Linux um, operating system. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, show one way that this can be done uh, very easily through terminal. So as you can see, currently have, well, I'm current, currently running uh, Leopard for the uh, Mac OS. And the file that I'm going to be transferring over to my uh, Ubuntu or Linux installation, it's going to be this particular picture right here. So this is the one I want to I want to transfer. Now it can be any file, it can be the movies or anything, but I'm just going to use this picture um, just so you can see. Now, in my case, I am doing this on a virtual system as far as uh, Linux is concerned. So I have Linux opened up over here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing vice versa, where I'm going to take this movie file and I'm going to transfer it over to my uh, Mac OS X or Leopard installation via terminal as well. So first thing we need to do is we need to know where we're connecting to. Now the easiest way as far as on Linux and you can do the same thing on the Mac OS X so I open up terminal type in ifconfig hit return and now you'll get a inet address which would be right here and in my case for this for my Linux installation, it's 192.168.60.129. So we want to keep that in mind. Now we can do the same thing for our uh, Mac OS X OS or Leopard installation, IF config. And I'm going to look for the INET. Uh, IP address which in, which would for me would be in VMnet 8 and it would be right here 192.168.60.1 that would be what I would be uh, using for my particular machine now you can use the actual IPs like the um, 192.168.1 or however your router actually sets those up you can use that but since I'm using it on the virtual system this is the way I'm going to do it. Anyways, as you see, again, this is the file I want to transfer. And I want to transfer that over into my user account on my Linux installation. So as you see, there's no picture here. And I want you to remember this video file, Midnight on Valentine's Day. Because I'm going to put that on my desktop on my uh, Mac OS X installation. Now, just to recap real quick, as you see, there's no video here for uh, midnight. It's not on here at all. Now, what we need to do, of course, you have to open up Terminal. And what you want to type in is, it's a very short command, scp-r space. And what I like to do, is, and I find it the easiest, is just drag and drop the file. So, of course, this is the file I want. It's going to drop it in and it's going to put it in a forward slash user, my username, the location, desktop, name of the picture, blah, blah, blah. Now, it already has a space after, so we just need to put in our um, username and the IP. So for my Linux installation, it would be Willie at and then the INET IP address 192. 168.60.129 semicolon forward slash home forward slash willy so it's going to be in my user folder not on my desktop now once I have that I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit return it'll prompt me for my password now the password is the password to the user account for my Linux installation, not my old, not the password for my 
Mac installation. So I'm going to go to not put that in. And as you can see, it's already transferred over that picture. Now I'm going to get and uh, move over to my Linux installation. And as you can see now, that picture is here. Let me just open that up. As you can see, it's right there. Now, they also want to know how to do this from Linux to Mac. Again, it's really the same thing, except it's the, the accounts are a little bit different. So it's still C SCP space minus R space. And again, like I said, I like to drag and drop the files. So I'm just going to drag that in, drop it in the terminal. Space is already here, so I don't need to hit the space bar at all. I need to put in my username for my um, login on my Mac OS 10 installation, which in that case would be Willy V instead of Willy because I have different usernames. At, and I use the INET IP address 192.168.60.1 semicolon forward slash and you got to use the, the file structure system for Mac OS 10. So I in that case would be users, you know, it's capital U forward slash, and then you know your username, which in my case is lowercase Willie V. And I want this on my desktop, so I'm gonna put in desktop. Now that I have that, I'll go ahead and I uh, hit return. It's gonna prompt me for my password for my OS 10 installation or my OS 10 user account, not my Linux account. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that in. Hit return. And it's already uh, transferred that over. Now I'm going to switch back over to my OS 10 installation. And let me just show you real quick that this file, you know, that the one I transferred is the same one. So that is the file that I did transfer over. So I'm going to show you that real quick. And as you can see right here is the movie that we just transferred over. And that is how you uh, transfer files via terminal from machine to machine pretty much as a uh, as a SSH. So hope that uh, helped out the folks that had the question on how to do this. And as always, this is uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.